this cultural movement, I'd rather say that than this dance form, it, it created an outlet for inner city children that don't have the opportunity to go to Ailey, that don't have the opportunity to go to Broadway Dance Center in New York and to, to you know, to go to all these prestigious universities to major in dance. This gives the, the children an opportunity to, to be something positive in their community instead of always being looked at as little rascals and things like that. I'm not walking around bragging, but I know what I've been through and I know where he took me to and I know how far he can take you. And I see the development in these young kids and this new squad we have and these, these new, without Tommy, you don't even have a name. You know, without Tommy the Clown, you wouldn't get Speedy. You wouldn't get Speedy Monster, you wouldn't get Speedy OG, nothing. Your name means something when you walk through his establishment and you, you, you become a part of his fraternity, a part of his family, and your name stick. No matter where you go in life, we always remember you for a name that he gave you, that he made popular. You know? He put out a platform that was built for everybody to feel comfortable in and do what they do. Like if you're a dancer, you know about Tommy the Clown. Like, even if you're not from LA, you know. You done heard something. You done watch Rise. You done seen a video pop up. And you probably done fell in love with it. Cause you know, this is, this is an energy that everybody don't have. So if you have got the outlook on Tommy, then yeah, you was blessed. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. Cause everybody don't get the, you know, this experience. I feel like clown dancing helps a lot of people. Cause even for myself, if I wasn't dancing with Tommy, I don't know what I would do, what I would be doing. A lot of my friends have passed away, game bangers, pregnant, and here I am finna be 23 years old, healthy, regular. I am really thankful for that. Even with a lot of other dancers, like we always be talking about like, if we wasn't dancing with Tommy, what would we be doing? Like we look at our outside friends and Tommy saved us. He opened this doorway to give people opportunities to show them something different. And they love it. They love it. They, they, they don't miss a beat. No matter what we post, YouTube, whatever, they don't miss a beat. I started dancing because of Tommy. Yeah. My friend used to watch him and I used to just see them on the TV all day. And me and my sister used to point at the TV like, I want to do that, I want to do that. And stuff like that, we got here. It's always some good stuff coming out of Tommy. So it's like, what we do is just everything positive to the community, we, do, we throw fee events for everybody who don't have money. Like, we just do a lot of good stuff for the community. I'll describe it as something that I'm doing for the community. I will put making kids laugh, bringing kids out, getting them to do something that's more helpful than harming and putting them in a new environment that they might end up liking. It's a lot of things we do that, and privileges and perks that we get from just being a part of Tommy the Clown, that's working and reaping the benefits of it because at the same time we get paid well. A lot of money and <laughs> yeah. And we got a job that we like doing, you know, and a lot of people don't know that because they're stuck on, you know, we're just at this age and we're clown dancing when that's not all that we do. That's what we do on the weekend. Through the week, we hear editing every day. We upload content every single day. When you dance with Tommy, it's real work. Even the other kids that's not leads, they still have a job. So it's like, if you over here, you gotta pump up. Tommy is so big on pump up. We don't care if this little Kiki dance and she can't dance. You better pump her up like she Beyonce. Tommy don't get mad. So it's like, it really is a job. On a more personal level, dancing with Tommy, you face like negativity and hate. That's not really smooth, but I've learned how to overcome it because of Tommy. He tells us, don't pay attention to what people say. Don't let them get to you because you know who you are. And mainly focus on your positive crowd, the people who actually support you. My mentality is mainly to interact with the crowd, make them smile, make somebody's day, make them remember my face and would want me to come back like next year or the next occasion. Being a Tommy dancer, you know, you have to put in plenty of work. So as long as I, as long as I knew I put in the work, then my spot was secure. You know, like it, like it just, it's, it's a respect level in the community. It, it saved lives. And I mean that, it saved lives. I, I haven't seen it. I got so many dancer friends that has passed away once they leave this alone. 
and they root back to whatever span out there. I mean, he took this dance and made it, he challenged our anger. He made it challenge our anger so where we don't have to fight no more. We don't have to use our fists. We can talk it out. We can go, let's battle it out. Come on, let's go. Let's battle it out. You don't dance for him, battle it out. And then after that, everything's fine. That was an amazing show that we just witnessed. The kids are so talented. They totally dance completely from the heart. Watching them on stage is so inspiring to me. I mean, what an opportunity to come and see something like this. So if you ever, ever, ever hear of, of Battle Zone or some sort of uh, show, a crump show, please go check it out. A Battle Zone is a heavyweight fight. If you go buy tickets to watch Mayweather versus Pacquiao or somebody, that's what Battle Zone is to us. It's our big BET Awards or the VMAs, the Grammys. That's what it is to us. Battle Zone is Tommy's WrestleMania, Tommy's Super Bowl. Tommy's top dog. You know, you come to Battle Zone, it's time to get down. You feel me? Oh my God. I'm getting goosebumps already. My first time Battle Zone was, I was nervous. I had the jitterbugs. Like, I didn't know what to expect, but it's something about when I get on the stage, I just be myself. And really, I just let the music just take over. I just go into envy. If you experience it, and, and I experienced it on a big, big stage. Like we, the, the, the biggest place we did battle songs at the forum. And um, man, it's lights, camera, action. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the best of the best coming to, to show their talent. Actually, there's a lot of movies that actually took his stuff, even, even his concepts, had them in meetings and took the things that he made up due to the fact that it wasn't patented. Tommy has created an atmosphere of making dance fun and literally taking your energy out on the dance floor. Man, I started when I, when I was coming up this time, they finally had a crew put up on the street. These people always want to challenge us, and I, we pull up on a block, and then we hopped out. I, I finally took the risk and said, man, y'all want to go to battle soon, so and they try. We put up on a block, they came outside, and we start going at it. Man, what's that? Dancing, boom, boom, grace, flipping, boom. I was lucky, I backed up. I said, man, we can't judge this right here. Went home, wrote the script. Battles on. Battles come on all over your head, came around, around, pound, pound, but you can be the judge. And and I wrote the script and we did Battle Zone. Battle Zone consists of audience appeal, more than just audience appeal. It could be a judge appeal. It could be, that's everybody's appeal, but that's you showcasing your top-notch skill. It's all about what you put into it. Either you put a negative connotation behind it or you put a positive connotation behind it. And a lot of people come to see you perform. They come to see you do what you do best. Get to be a star for one night you know one night that somebody's giving you for free you get to be a star you get to be a celebrity my favorite one was battles on 25 in 2017. emotions was crazy the aggressiveness was real high in that one versus the other ones in battles on 25 it was like i said us versus boom squad it was a whole bunch of different matches to me, that was like my first real battle zone, like where I actually battled because I did a previous show one before that and after that one. I'd say that one felt like a real battle ring. And now, battle zone has been a household name where people know you want to bring it to the dance floor. Don't, we don't argue, we don't fuss, we ain't finna fight. Bring it to the dance floor, let's bring it to the battlefield. And this is our outlet. A lot of people can't play baseball, football, soccer, hockey. So they like to dance. So I just, I made it into a sport. One of the main battle zones i never forget is Battle Zone 3, and he had it at the forum. And this is no social media. This is no, this is literally out of his pocket, no sponsorship, no anything, and it was sold out. The line is already around the block when the doors eventually open. 
The atmosphere is electric, and we soon learn that passion rules everything in the world of crumping. It was sold out to where I got to the door, and it was sold out, and we all just ran in the door. To where, um, and this at the forum, this is at the forum that fit with like, what, around that time with 40,000, like, you know, a lot of people. And I was standing up, seats was full. It was sold out so much to where they had to shut it down. And this was in like 2001. The world on wheels, had to shut it down, too many people came. We even go to Southwest College like three times. Then we went to the forum. Like three times, they shut the forum down. We sold out the forum. It's, and it's been, it's been a way of life. You gotta meet the expectations on a person a fan spending they, they $20 on a ticket. You don't give them their money's worth. You know? I would hate to go to, I don't care if it's a Laker or a Clipper game and the stars don't play. Now we can battle all day. We can battle all day. You know, the shows are the same way. You know, I, I want the best of the best best battles, I want people to be, you know, on their P's and Q's and know that it's out of all love. It's not really, it, even though it looks like animosity, it's really no animosity. Y'all see us every weekend dancing at parties, so we got a disadvantage when we go to Battle Zone because they ain't seen almost everything we do. We do it at the parties all the time, so now when we come to Battle Zone, it's like, we, we, we got to get up and we got to do something that nobody saw us do speedy regularly in the, in, 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 in regular day or regular in the street i'm, I'm speedy but when battle zone comes i'm speed monster i'm gonna put on the show i'm gonna give you what you asked for just as well as tommy the fans leaving and they saying tommy great show great job i want the fans to say speedy great show great job it's different when you walk into a building and you don't know what to expect, and then when you actually get on stage and you about to perform, it's like, okay, you know what's you know what's about to happen. Battle zone is 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 it is a war. Without sponsorship, Tommy and his crew have still managed to tour the world, but the crumping darts movement would clearly benefit from corporate endorsements. If you really want to say, kids, I help support this. This is something that that is doing it. I think it's a very important movement. I feel like it's going to be around just like breaking, popping, locking, whacking, all of that. It's going to be around. There's that passion we were talking about. Man, they robbed me blind. Took everything. I think about 90000 Took all the computers, all like everything, all the ticket money, ticket sale. We was, you know, we was really moving, trying to make some good moves. So it hurt the bills really bad. It motivated me. It, it made me look like you try to help people so much, and, and it's like, it's like, it, it just, it just, it just, it really let me know no matter what. And I think it, it's another move of God to continue to talk and say, you stay with me, I got you. Take care of mine, and, and, and God allow me to just have an empire. Staff, they don't know, these kids, was, kids dance with me, now they work for me for a time. Like everything I do, man, just to still be living, still be around. People say, man, you, man, you still around? Time to glass through? Oh, I'm supposed to be dead. Right? Like, my time's supposed to be up. Like, you know, so I give God all the credit. Like, man, he's still around. I mean, how many more years I got? I don't know. Working with Tommy has brought me many, many opportunities. I've danced along Snoop Dogg. I've danced alongside Omarion. I battled with Chris Brown. I've been to Madonna House. That was huge. You know, I'm 15, 16, like, I mean, I'm in Madonna living room. I can't, what are we doing here? You know, we went to Sega Entertainer House. It's like, okay, we got Cedric here. We got, we got Gina from, from, from Martin. We got, what is we doing here? So many dope artists that we met, just the, the pleasing of, of the, the respect that they have for Tommy. And they've been watching him so long and he's so well known in the community they give him that love and then we get that love off of his love it's a dope feeling the simple fact since he has a big following on a lot of social platforms and he posts all of his crew it gets you out there really and i know for me my following has grew as a dancer and like on social media it's always, to me, it's always gonna be ups and downs with longevity. You know, um, 
of course you can prevent it, but at the end of the day, one thing about Tommy and even myself, like I can't hold nothing. These kids have done it, y'all. These kids like to have fun. And if you want teenagers and kids to do something in life, you got to give them something to do. 25 years in the making, y'all. Show your love one more time, you guys. Even then coming back, we got a team of people that can't be fake. Like, I feel like all over the world, kids really watch us and we don't feel like we're nobody, but to them kids, we are somebody. Like even me and Envy, when we go out by ourselves, we go to Miami, Texas, we done did dance classes and kids be crying and so happy. Like we impact the world, like people look up to us. He's been in this for 30 plus years. It has branched off to be other groups and kids like who like to dance. It helps a lot other than them just being running around in the streets and stuff. They can be doing something that they enjoy doing. From traveling around the world, um, the movie Rise, knowing people like older cousins and friends and stuff that I had. If he didn't start back in 1992, nine times out of 10, there probably wouldn't be as many clown groups as they are. Like even around the world, there's other clowns that do what we do. He really brings like the best out of teens and gives them an outlet to express themselves instead of street violence. It's really a way to keep the black community out of trouble like people portray us to be. Cause I ain't had no time to clown when I was younger. That's why I was selling drugs, doing crazy stuff. It's like, you know, so it's a lot. I think I have, you know, the responsibility that I have is just to keep pushing, motivate, encourage, and let people know, man, y'all, you can do better if you want to, for real, for real, for real. He like a father that I never had. Um, he adopted a role that he didn't even know he was adopting. It just genuinely happened that way because he already a real guy. He's always been like on me and keeping me out the streets, out of trouble. So he's really like my inspiration to do good in life and keep me on track. By using what I've been blessed with, my dancing, my movement, my entertainment, my, my network, YouTube, my Instagram, my platform, my car, my bumping sounds. To save kids, to encourage kids, to come tell them, hey, get yourself.